Governor Obaseki's empire is crumbling like a pack of cards. With his boisterous demeanor in recent weeks and months, particularly as regards his political issue with his erstwhile godfather and national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adam Sushomole, nobody would have ever reasoned that Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki would any time appear vulnerable politically. But in these last few days, the dynamics, but unassuming governor, certainly cannot be weaker as it is today. His once upon a time fortress of allies and aides are jettisoning his administration as the day goes by. It is no longer news that a political rift among different personalities in the state is geared towards the gubernatorial election coming up in September 19, 2020. What is, ever, however, news is the shape it will take and how crucial different individuals are leading up to the deal day. The Independent National Electoral Commission had scheduled the governorship poll for September 19, while the party primaries are billed for June 2nd. And with the weeks away, the boys are already being separated from the men. Alliances and strategies are being put in place by party stalwarts. The dice is cast, you might want to say. But those clamoring 4 plus 4, a slogan in support for Governor Obaseki, second term bid, are beginning to shiver and have a cold feet as many top aides of the governor abandon him ahead of all important election. Just last week, the chief of staff to Godwin Obaseki, Mr. Taiwo Akirele, resigned his office citing administration reason. Sources say Governor Obaseki rejected his resignation upon receiving the letter and quickly constituted crack team of political heavyweights to convince the chief of staff to change his mind. But the quiet but savvy political aid was having none of it. His mind was made up. His time as the gatekeeper of Obaseki is done. Mr. Akerele reportedly claimed that he was being sidelined by Obaseki owing to the fact that like other aides and cabinet members, he refused to publicly criticize the former governor, Adam Soshomole, a man they have declared war on. Although Akerele pledged his loyalty to Obaseki, where he pitched tent would not be difficult to guess. Oshomole's camp now have another more soldier. It is quite instructive to note that confirmation of this remains sketchy. Kabiru Ajotu, a special advisor on political affairs to the governor, also reportedly threw in the towel and exited the regime. Before then, some weeks back, the senior special advisor on anti-human trafficking issues to the governor, Obaseki, Solomon Okodua, also waved goodbye to the administration. Resignation after another is not a good omen for the governor. It will not help his push for a second term bid. Just like goals and tactics win trophies for football teams, number and people win you political offices, the more the merrier. Any right-thinking politician would want to rally everybody around him, particularly at this auspicious time, not what is currently happening within the Obaseki fold. Crumbling is synonymous with the idiomatic pack of cards, so using that as a metaphor to symbolize happenings around Governor Obaseki is certainly not out of place. A governor that dared his benefactor and former governor of the state, he leads to come to the state and see what will happen to him. Never saw the handwriting on the wall. That when it really comes to the couch, the car would be separated from the pigeons. In a video that went viral last year, the governor with numerous cheerleaders behind him and around him was seen threatening fire and grenade against Oshomole. If he comes to Edo State and cause trouble, I will deal with him and show him what I am the governor of the state, Obaseki said in reference to national chairman of APC. He was quoted to have demanded a public apology from Oshomole in any possible reconciliation between the duo. 
a move many political watchers and pundits believe was a lock stretch too far, though not given to public display of power and bring bringage. Governor Obaseki was obviously dancing to the tune of political hungers on and psychopaths who are only after their own interests. Sources within the APC hierarchy confirm authoritative that more aides and other cabinet officers, including top commissioners, will dump Obaseki's administration as the primary election draws closer. Nothing that Oshomole still hold the ace in Edo State. Findings also reveal that the death of left chief of staff to the president, Mohamed Buhari, Abba Kiari, came at a very big political cost to Obaseki and his team. It was revealed that Obaseki had the ear of President Buhari through his late chief of staff. How he managed to forestall he, this gale of resignation within the camp and prevent it from being a domino effect will go a long way to galvanizing his political arsenal ahead of the biggest political battle of his life. And the seeming quietness of Oshomole is so strange, knowing who the former labor leader is. Saying it's unsettling for Obaseki's camp is akin to say that the fishes live in water. As the primary election approaches, Obaseki needs to put his house in order to curtail this entire of his that is crumbling like a pack of cards. He must endure that none of Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu and the Secretary to the Edo State Government, Osare Dion Oge, leaves him at this time. If any of these two officials should by any stench call it a day, he should as well kiss the Edo government house goodbye. So, uh, um, oh, um, Obaseki, a lot has really been happening um, within his cabinet within this um, last few days. And um, it's really, it's surprising and it's shocking. We all know the common say for um, Edo lights, um, 4 plus 4, meaning that um, they want um, Obaseki to complete his fourth term. He's done 3 plus so Baseki needs to do this for and do another for. That is what um, they are clamoring for. But however, I, I doubt if Obaseki saw this coming, that this crucial time, um, the main people that ought to be pushing him forward and giving him the support, all the support he needs, they are like, uh, they, they, they are slipping away off his hands. And we really don't know why this is happening. A lot of speculations has been going on that um, it's um, Oshomole doing all of this. But we know that in all of this, Oshomole has not come out. And now, even now that Oshomole has not said anything, everyone is even, they are more worried of his silence. His silence is even troublesome because he feels like he really has hand behind this or probably he has more that he has to do. So um, it, it's been stated that um, um, Obaseki has to put his house in order, but the two main people that he shouldn't lose at this time are his deputy governor, that's Philip Shaibu, and also the secretary of the Edo State Governor, Osare Dion. If these two leave him at the moment, it's going to be it will be a big blow. Some persons are suggesting that if these two people leave him, then uh, it's a goodbye for him to um, the governor's house, the governor's house. But anyways, we still don't know how all of this is going to play. We still don't know those that will leave. The other day, he called a meeting and stated that all those thinking of leaving, they can leave but be prepared for what is next of them. So we don't know what Obaseki is up to, but... Um, Edo lights, we have to be sure that we have confidence in this man and we're ready to vote him in again for another four years. So, um, people, let's do leave our comments down below in the comment section. Let's have a decent conversation about this. Let us know what you think about this and um, we, we, are, we really want to hear from you. We want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below and also click on the notification bell as it enables you to get updates of all of our latest news as they come in. And don't forget to hit the like button uh, and just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing. So do give us a thumbs up till I come your way again. It's bye for now and